Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the mobile app coaching. My name is Glenn, senior stock market strategist for VectorVest. Glad to be here. Glad to have you here. Where we all, where all we do is everything on our mobile app. Where I'm using an iPad, not using the desktop version of the system at all. If you can hear me, by all means, please respond in the affirmative, preferably with VV Nation, to let me know that I am coming across loud and clear. I got my mic set for YouTube now, uh, so it should be good. Glenn, a thought. Could Chairman Powell be encouraging the Fed governors to talk more hawkish, to walk back his, his dovish stance to avoid him losing face? Hmm. I don't know. That's a, I never thought about that. I never thought about that. Hi, Janice. I never thought about that. Um, so let me think about that. <laughs> I, I I really don't know. I I don't know. I I don't know. Well, you know, I can't say I don't know why he would do that because um, he talked about the three rate cuts of which I don't think we're going to get. Um, but we'll see. I, I think that the more and three hundred and three thousand new jobs this uh, today uh, over the last month. Who is in the background? Say hello to Koo. Uh, he's producing today. Um, I. I I've only been saying it from a common sense perspective. A lot of you think that I'm just being bearish, which I'm not. Um, I have no care in which direction the market is going. My goal is just to help you guys to make money. All right. That, that's the goal. All right. Whether the market is bullish or bearish or neutral, my job is to help you to make money. So no matter what the market does, no matter what the Fed says, no matter what. Well, when I say no matter what the Fed says, it's it's important to to take into consideration what he's saying, but to put it into a practical application. The job market is is still rocking. The economy is still rocking. How do you effectively cut, justify cutting in the current market climate? I don't think that you can. Whether you've been around in the market a lot longer than I have or not, that is definitely an, 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 an issue, right? And, and <clears throat> I don't want anybody to ever come up in here and say, oh, man, this guy is just be bearish and I don't want to hear him. I, you know, I don't want any of you get caught and be blindsided because you're all caught up in the euphoria that we're going to get three rate cuts this year. Now, as I've said before, as I've said before, if we get them, I'll be the first one to step up and say, I was wrong. If we get the cuts, I'll be the first one to step up and say, hey, I was wrong. And that's it. Tom says, Glenn, when do you, when, when you do your how to not reviews, can you also comment for those that may already hold it? Example, LRN was a prior pick of yours and I'm still holding. You know, we do try on a lot of occasions when we go look at stocks. Well, I do it in the jockey club. I look at stocks to pick up for the day, but then I also look at it on a three month graph and say, if you're still in it, leave it alone. All right. So I think that we do look at the stocks for today, but I think on a lot of different occasions, we do look at, well, we should do probably more, look at it on a longer term basis for those of you who are still holding. Jazz says, you're going to look at XOM today. If I get enough likes, if I get enough likes, I'll look at as many stocks as you want. Janice says, Glenn, the realist. Hmm, I like that. VV signals, uh, be your guide. Absolutely. So if I'm looking at the homepage of the mobile app, what does it tell me as a buyer in the market? The confirmed calls are still up. The DEW is still up. The green light buyer is neutral. The only thing that's down, maybe holding you back is the primary wave. Who trades the primary wave? The more aggressive trader is playing in the primary wave because it's designed to catch all the bumps and wiggles in the market. But if you're if you already know that you're aggressive, well, then this is the fastest indicator that we have. All right. So there you go. Glenn has been wrong for years being a Giants and a Yankees fan. Well, Dave, because you're a hater and it's fine. Is it a good idea to get into spy? Um, so that's two stocks. XOM. And, you know, SPY is a good way to go if the market is still running higher, all right? Or still if they're getting higher, all right? Um, Glenn, you are getting a bad name. Really? How? I am your brother. Fed is too confusing. Chairman say something The other, and other yap, 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 a lot of noise. All good, bro. How am I getting a bad name? I, I'm not getting a, I don't, I think that a lot of people feel that I'm bearish, 
but that's fine. I, I'm still going to tout what I need to because that's what the channel is designed to do. The channel is designed, our channel is designed to give you the real, the real stuff. You notice we never try to push anything. We don't try to pump anything. So I don't, I don't call it a bad name, but I think that people think that I'm a forever bear and I'm not at all. I am not a bear. Uh, I'm with everybody else. I want the market to go up, but I also know that it can't go up forever. And because of that, I use the power of the vector vest software looking at this homepage to help me discern and help me to discern when it's the right time to be in the market. And when it's the wrong time to be in the market, what's up G Dave, uh, Glenn, do you think it's better to be, to, to go cash till October? No. All right. So let, let me, let me explain what's going on. But those stocks that you have really, really long-term holdings on, especially in your retirement, I am going to tell you, you're not going to get rid of those. When the market goes down, what do you do? Sell covered calls. These are your long-term plays. These are your long-time retirement plays. I'm never going to tell you to get out of those stocks. Any of you have, um, um, what's the stocks that you call when you get it from somebody else along? What, what is that? Legacy stocks. If you have legacy stocks, I will never tell you to sell those stocks. Ever, 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 ever. I'm not going to ever do that. All right. So I am, I am of the mindset there. You sell covered calls against those stocks. But now if you're swing trading stocks or more aggressive on stocks, when the market goes down, I definitely put those into cash and wait for better opportunities or play the market to the downside. Now, with what I just said, does that make sense to you guys out there in regards to how to manage the stocks that you currently own? Yes or no? Because that's important. Because I, I never want when the market goes down to tell you guys to put all your money into cash based upon what I just said. For those stocks that are long-term, that you're holding long-term, sell covered calls against those. Sell covered calls against those. For those legacy stocks, sell covered calls against those. Never get rid of those stocks, especially if you're up. And in, if you're up a lot of freaking money on those, don't give that all back. And then wait and come in at a different point. Don't, don't do that. But you got to know, you got to know that those stocks that you long-term in, that you're rightly in them long-term, not because, oh, now me, I like Palantir, but it ain't a long-term play for me right now. The stock is still more of a speculative play. I like long-term what it will do, but the stock's got to come to me to show me that it's worth a long-term play. What is a long-term play? A stock that's got an RV and RS above one. That's a fundamentally sound stock. If the stock that you're trying to hold long-term doesn't have an RV and RS above one, I'd reconsider the title of a long-term play. Also, does that make sense to all of you out there? All right. Now, some of you think that, well, these stocks have been beaten up and I want to be long-term on this stock, but it's still not, it's still not where it needs to be, but it's long-term for me. Then, you know, you got, you got to make, you got to make the right decisions on what you want. Uh, what you think? We've owned NVIDIA forever and trim occasionally when it gets to a large position. Absolutely. NVIDIA is a stock that a lot of people have liked long term. I'm not going to tell you to sell it. What is a legacy stock? A legacy stock is somebody like you, your, your dad or your grandfather owned Microsoft back in the beginning days of the stock, bought it, and now they've either you know gotten out of the market or passed on or whatever. That's a legacy stock. You never get rid of a legacy stock. You know, if I'm in GE back, or if I'm back in Apple when it was $5, someone gave that to me. I'm not getting rid of that stock ever. That's a legacy stock. All right, that's a legacy stock. Something that was passed on to you when the stock was bought at way dirt cheap in the beginning. All right, so <clears throat> still looking at what's going on on the homepage. Um, only one signal is down. That is the primary wave. But look at the Dow is up a percent. Look, the market rebounded bigly after yesterday's move. Why? Primarily because of the jobs number. Primarily because of the jobs number. But I am going to tell you this. If you're holding stocks over the weekend, be very careful. Make sure you have stops in place. There's a lot of geopolitical stuff going on. There's a lot of inflationary stuff going on. Jobs going up is inflationary. People are spending money. 
oil, the supply issue, whether it's OPEC or going around uh, how you how we get to the oil, uh, get the oil to us by supply. That's an issue. It's also um, inflationary. All right. So um, that's all I got to say about that. Um, some of my legacy stocks were bought so many years ago. It tickles me to look at some I have sold as the business fundamentals. And uh, listen, Linda, I don't care what's going on with that. You're, you're probably up so much money on those stocks. Uh, I would I, I would still hold on to them. But that's my two cents, Linda. If anything else, I would just think about selling covered calls. Uh, the first month is like $10. Do it. Learn the program. I like that. I'm going to put that up there. <clears throat> a lot of people out there who don't have power, don't have the power of the VectorVest software, we offer a trial. Go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT. All right. And from that perspective, um, can I pin that? I don't know how to pin it. Can I pin it? I don't know how to pin it. But I would pin it. What if I did this? Oh, crud. That's not what I meant to do. I, yeah. I don't know what I just did. Start a poll, close, start a Q&A. No, let's do that. Okay. There we go. And, you know, Dave, Dave is right. Don't sell a legacy stock unless you need the money. I, I'm with you 110% on that. You never lose money if you sell covered calls. Uh, you could, well, it can get taken away from you. Eh, but if you're already up on it, you might be right. Does the market always do well? all the way up to election. Uh, it all depends on a lot of different things. Um, but usually during an election year, the Fed will be accommodative uh, to the election. After watching your video about strategies, portfolios, I decided to follow the hot stocks, no contrast. I love that. I love that. All right. So let's keep on going. Um, let's talk about what the newsletter said last night. All right. And every day, if, as you have the access to the software, every night we give you what's going on. The U.S. stock markets closed sharply lower today as hawkish comments came from uh, Kashkari. Tim, are you here? Tim was mad at Kashkari. But, you know, I am of the, I am of the mindset that he said what he had to say. He needed to be honest. He needed to be honest. Do you have to own 100 shares to sell a cover call? Yes, Greg. You have to have 100 shares in order to, to sell a contract, one contract. Is there an earthquake stock? I might buy some. I know Jersey and up there, New York, got earthquake. I don't know if there's an earthquake stock. I got to take a look at that. Thank you for that, Koo. Koo put the link to get uh, a $9.95 trial for 30 days. All right. So um, what is the guidance that we gave? Uh, there we go. Prudent investors should not buy stocks at this time. Aggressive investors and traders should play the market with a bias to the downside. But what did the market do today? Well, the market went up. So who's taking advantage of the market today? The more aggressive trader, right? The more aggressive. But the guidance is there to keep you guys on the right side of the market. I love Chapel's Champ Screener. It's a great search. I've been all these years I've been here. I haven't, I don't have it. I need a search in there called Tompkins Troopers. That's going to be my search when it comes. Tompkins Troopers, especially because I'm a Marine. T, hey, are you here? Because, especially because I'm a Marine. Um, I got, I got to come up with a search called Tompkins Troopers. Generac may be, well, you know, that's yeah, true. You would think there's two of them. It would be Generac and Enphase. Let's go take a look at those. Generac. And end phase might be two stocks for um, natural stuff like this because people are going to lose power, right? People could lose power. I don't know. I don't know. All right. You know, I am. If you, you know, I'm in, if you do that, I got to come up with a search called Tompkins traders. Dave is an, are you another Marine? Dave? Hoorah. Are you another Marine or are you just saying that in support of us Marines? All right, you need to do a Hawaiian shirt Friday. Hmm, maybe I might. Maybe I might. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, Troy. All right, with that, we give the top five winners. Look at the top five um, one-day derby winners because on the down day, we're all bearish. And over the last uh, five days, we're all bullish. Notice that marijuana stocks, which means I could use, that's a good industry right now to keep your eye on is because it's getting a lot of buzz. 
It's getting a lot of buzz. Anybody not on VectorVest, I urge you to take the trial. Look at that. You will make money following some of those searches. 3.8, MPI, Top VST, et cetera. Way to go, Isidro. You're a Navy vet. Yeah, you know, they say the Marines. I'm going to mess with you right now, Dave. I'm going to mess with you right now. You know what they say? They say that the Marine Corps, and T knows this too, that the Marine Corps is the Department of the Navy. We're the men's department. Oh, man, there we go. All right, so I'm messing with you, Dave. I just need you to know that. I ju I'm just messing with you, Dave. I'm just letting you know. Uh, T says, yes, sir. <laughs> I, again, I think all military people mess with each other, but I've got nothing but respect for all military out there. All right, I got nothing but respect for all military folks out there. And Dave says, all right, all right, that's right. I, I, I love all my military. Um, that was a stock pick I gave a while ago. Glenn, your ALSMY stock is up. Uh, I know T bought that. I know ALSMY. I don't know what video. I think that was an explosive stocks video. How many of you are not members of the channel? And if you're not a member, we put out a lot of great content for you people, folks. We do. I invite you to hit the subscribe button right now as well. Hit the subscribe button so that you'll be alerted to when our new, how many of you, man, and this is for the people who are not subscribed to the channel yet. How many of people of you have made money off of a lot of the different videos Ryan and I have put out? Just type of one. How many of you out there who are subscribed to the channel have made money, good money, on the videos that Ryan and I have put out? Just type a one in the room. This is directly for the people who are not subscribers to the channel. This is why, watch the chat, watch the chat. That is why you should, if nothing else, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. All right? So I'm just, I'm putting it out for all of the people who are not subscribers to the channel. Will, will I find out in a, well, I'll find out in a couple of weeks as Impacted Zombie, uh, ex Impacted Zombie. Lots of good fish, says Isidro. If you don't have a Hawaiian shirt, buy one, uh, uh, borrow one from Todd. Todd's got a lot of them. But if you guys really want us to do a Hawaiian shirt Friday, I wouldn't mind doing it. I wouldn't mind doing it. Where can I go to get a review of my account with Vector Vest? Um, Roger, call our product support. Call our product support. They'll walk you through what you got. All right, unless I'm seeing something wrong, I only see six likes. Everyone commenting, peace hit the like. I hear you. Think about it. Again, depending on how many likes we get, I, I look at one stock per 10 likes. I look at one. If everybody in the room hit it, I can uh, hit the like button. I can do 17 stocks for you today. But if you don't want that, then it's okay. All right. So um, let's go down to... Let's go look at our portfolios. Oh, no, not here. Because this is on the mobile app. This is different. Well, hold on. Magnificent seven stocks for the year. 19.84%. Not half bad. The two losers are going to be Apple and Tesla. Just look at this. NVIDIA, Meta, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, all up in excess of double double. Um, double digit gains. What else is in my portfolios? This is mobile act pip. Uh, my multi bagger portfolios. I'm up 8.36%. Look at these. Remember, these are multi baggers. I picked these a while ago. Remember, multi baggers, if a stock goes up 100%, right? Look at this. I'm three quarters of the way there on VITL. What other company is out there that can? tell you that oh i look at look at this as a multi-bagger and then back it up this way we're up three quarters of the way to a bagger on vitl we're halfway there on a fihl we're three tenths of the way to and on nu adma supv bbva and desp look at that look at the equity curve i've got a second one multi-bagger too, a little different, a little different in the sort. Look at this. USAP, two stocks in here up double digits, two stocks down. All right. Uh, if you want more multi-bagger stocks, uh, selections, make sure you watch tonight's 6 p.m. video. 
Do you have a stop loss on those? Yes. The stop loss on my multi baggers, I believe, is a 15% trail. So that even if they don't get to 100%, I don't think anybody is going to be mad if these stocks are nice and profitable. All right. There you go. Dave C says, How uh, you protect stocks by buying puts? Uh, yeah. Uh, you protect stocks by either buying put on it or selling a covered calls. Like people, I need Glenn to look at FTAI. Oh, hit my I, FTAI is on my list. FTAI is on my list. Uh, T is tracking. So from a, from a portfolio standpoint, having these portfolios set up in your, and you know, some of these may be paper traded portfolios that you set up, but you have the power of looking at what's going on in these portfolios. And the cool thing about it, let's go back to the multi-bagger search. I can see which of these stocks are going up today. Look at this. VITL is up 4.37%. Even if I'm paper trading this, even if I'm paper trading this, I can go look at the stock, click on it. Remember, I'm looking at it to power the program in my pocket. One year graph on VITL, if I'm not already in it from a multi-bagger perspective, but possibility, look at that equity curve. I click on it, click on the graph. Looks, look at that three, a six month view of the stock. Good, googly, muggly. Good, googly, I'm writing down RTX, Raytheon. Uh, look at that. What I don't like about it right now, if I do own it, look at the, oh, wow. Um, the MACD went negative, but then went back positive with a big update today. It did go back positive. But look at that equity curve. Um, so I am a forming a Batman head. What is a Batman head? Good, googly, muggly. All right, so I can look at any portfolio that I have in here especially if I'm paper trading and I'm out on the road and I'm using the power of the program in my pocket, I can see the graphs. I can get better ideas of any on, on any of these stocks. I want to take a look at me. A lot of people are leaving son of a gun. I don't know what you guys want. Uh, MOH is on my list now. Molina. Is that Molina? S W V L S W V sisters with no oh, oh my S W V L. All right, let's go back in regards to XLF. Hi, Kiwi. X L F. It's Friday. Must be 11 somewhere. Must be, you know, Glenn, we lost 100. I know. Because I'm not giving fish yet. That's all right. People just, some, a, lot, a lot of people just come to the channel just to get fish. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Um, let's go to, uh, let's talk about fish. Fine. Let's go to stock pick ideas. I went over to the left, looked at stock pick ideas. I know T I know, I know. Um, and on a day like today where the market is going up, where can I find some stocks? I'm a little bit more aggressive knowing that today is a more of an aggressive day. Go look at hot stocks. Here's hot stocks. Boom. Let's go see what's moving. CRS. Notice that there's not a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six stocks. Interesting. But that makes sense given the current market's condition. C-E-L-H. You know something? I'm not going to get through a lot of these stocks because we only got 78 likes. That's all right. I'm just saying. I'm giving you the opportunity of knowing what, what it takes to get the stocks looked at. Now, unless somebody straight up says, well, I'm giving you, I'm paying you some money. for. I don't care how many stocks we got. I'm going to look at that stock. You've seen me do that a couple of times. You know, somebody says, well, I'm giving you $1.99 or $5 or $10. Somebody paid me $50. They paid us $50 to go look at a stock of theirs. I was like, all right, I don't care how many stocks we got. I'm going to look at that. I come to the channel, not only fish, but for beef, bacon, BLT and Cafe Bucella. Way to go, Maria. This is why I love my regular people who can pay for Glenn's lunch. I don't need nobody to pay for my lunch. What am I doing today? I'm probably going to McAllister's. I'm going to do a soup and salad today. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, Gerald says, look at my stock. I have a like. Gerald, which stock would you have? I'll tell you where it sits in my list. I'll see. tell you where it sits in my list. Um, but, I, you know, I got to go by the likes. Uh, David says, Angle earnings out today. Stock is climbing. Uh, I'll put that up there, too. I, I, I'm not going to get through all of these stocks. I'm just telling you. All right. So that's some hot stocks. Let's take a look. Do I want them for today? Let's go to a three-month graph. Wow. What don't I like about CRS? Anybody? What don't I like about CRS as I look at it? Glenn, were you a mercenary in the Army? First off, I wasn't in the Army. That's, those are fighting words, Tabula. 
Second of all, I'm not a mercenary. All right. Uh, what was your stock, Gerald? Uh, it's parabolic. Mira and Kiwi are both saying the same thing. It is parabolic. And it's trading at session highs, which I like. Which I like. Um, the, the MACD looks good as well. But um, it, it is very parallel. I'd be very cautious about it. It's up 3% today. Man, the stock has got some volatility up and down, up and down, up and down. CRS, I just sold it as I do not think it will make earnings. Well, actually, let's go find out. CRS, let's go. It is undervalued. <coughs> Excuse me. It is undervalued, Linda, which I like. Um, let's go back. Let's go back to CRS. Uh, what I do like, uh, relative value, it's got good upside potential. Uh, H-U-M. I got that on the list. Um, relative value is good. Relative timing is good. Rel uh, CI is good, and it's undervalued. I think you might be right with relative safety being below one, that it may or may not be, be earnings, but you know something? You know what I would have done? Uh, Linda, I probably would have taken half off the table, locked in those profits. I would have locked in those profits. And then from the earnings perspective, let's go see what happens. If it went down and got me out by way of my stops, then that's fine. I did uh, that way. I'm playing with the house's money. Does that make sense, Linda? I would be playing with the house's money. The stock though, overall over the last year, over the last three months, coming off this session of the low, it's just been running up. So maybe I would have done that. I don't know. Yep. I hop in and out all the time, made $14 per share. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Go ahead. Ooh -wee. All right. Tesla, should we hold, sell, or buy? Hmm. Long term, long term, I don't, I think it's, it's not prudent to bet against Elon Musk. But short term, I made money playing Tesla to the downside. Definitely have. I I made money playing Tesla to the downside, but um, he's got a ways to come back to gain people's um, confidence in him, and I think he'll do it. I I think a big move right now is looking to put a couple of billion dollars into an India manufacturing plant for the car. But the problem is with that. The problem is with that. What if EVs are really in? a state of disarray because of the lack of sales. Think about that. So that is, that is the one thing that he has got no control over. All right. He can open up another plant to make a lot of cars, but if they're not being sold and people are not buying them, he's doing it for naught. And that's expense for the company that he's not recuperating in sales. Just think about that. All right. Tesla is already considered an AI company, Jazz, just, just to let you know. It is, it is considered an AI car company. It is already considered that. All right, so what else is in this list? Um, hold on. VITL, look at that. Look at the earnings. Remember, earnings, you know, I go back to a one-year graph. Earnings is the engine that drives a stock's price higher. But look at that. Uh, go back to a three month graph. Holy smokes. Let's go to the next one. Wow. A Rock. Arch Rock Inc. How many of you know of this company? Type a one. If you don't, type a two. How many of you know of this company? Type a one. If you don't, type a two. All right. Human is, I got it on the list. Way down my list, though, Gerald. It's way down my list. We got 86 likes. I'll probably put up nine stocks. Look at that. A lot of people are saying two. Interesting. Guess what, folks? I just brought something new to the table for you. I just brought something. Look at this. I just brought something new to the table for many of you. I'm going to put in an order to buy this. Uh, A-Rock. Where it is. I'm putting an order into this. Create. Let's put this up here. Create. I created that. I created that alert. I want to see. That's an excellent looking stock. I like that. And a lot of you said, a lot of you said, uh, no. So root was on this list. I'm taking it off because we're looking at it right now. Look at that three month graph. Good. Googly muggly. Look at the jump in MACD. 
Yeah. Let's let's go let's go put an order in on that. Create an alert. Higher than the high. Create. All right. So root was on the list. I took it off because we just looked at it. What is this company you talking about? This company, A Rock. Let's go look at the report. Uh, engages in the provision of operations, maintenance, and service and equipment for oil and natural gas production. Ooh, oil is on the move, right? Um, processing, transportation, applications operates through the following segments. Contract, operations, and aftermarket services. Look at the stock's graph over the last three months, but look at the industry. I like that play. That's why we got the order in. I like that. I like that play, and I cannot lie. This is because if I don't look at this, I'm going to look at two stocks real quick. Uh, SMCI, Sugarfoot. I am going to look at two stocks, SMCI. And Gerald, I'm going to look at your stocks. Ooh. So first off, here we go. First off, Amir, if you've got stop on SMCI, you probably hit the stop. I'm looking at the three to eight and the 20. They're all to the downside. I'm looking at MACD. To, I'm going to tell you, you shouldn't have been, but you shouldn't be asking me that question. If you've got stops on it, the stops have probably already hit. The stock is, the stock is probably already hit from this high. Just think about that. All right. So it's not like I'm telling you anything new. I'm looking at the graph to answer your question of which you can do the same. And for Gerald, I will look at, H-U-M, H-U-M, and no, there's nothing that I like about it. It's a sell recommended stop. There's nothing that I like. Earnings is falling. I, there's nothing. I'll put it on a six-month graph. There's nothing that I like about it. You know what I need for this stock to do anything? I need this stock to get above this level of resistance i need to start to get above this level of resistance there's nothing there's there's nothing that makes me feel warm and fuzzy about getting into that stock at all not right now let the stock show me something amir doesn't know how to follow the rules i i maria as much as i love the man i i think he, you're sort of kind of right I, I think you're sort of kind of right all right but that's you, Amir. SMI got highly volatile share price over the last three months and high vol high level of non-cash earnings. I'm scared to buy it right now. And I wouldn't buy it right now. Uh Humana got hit with dealings with Medicare. So did United Healthcare. Yeah. I, I'm I'm not as far as Humana is concerned, I don't think that it's a good that it's a good play. All right. What else can I look at? So that was just hot stocks. How about high momentum stocks? Do you want to take high momentum stocks right now? Hmm. Let's take a look what's here. IESC, boom, EME. These are stocks that we've talked about on the channel a lot. We've talked a lot about these. And Ran, I'm not looking at the Canadian market. Ran, I'm not looking at the Canadian market. I'm just looking at the U.S. market right now. All right. Um, do you think if you have NVDI, you need SMCI because they need each other? Hmm. No. Play one or the other. You know something, if they give you, but they both give you exposure to the same thing, then the answer to that is no. And the answer to that is no. All right, but high momentum stocks are stocks that probably not just us, but everybody's talking about. All right, do you still want to take advantage of these? Let's go take a look at them real quick. Uh, I'm looking at IESC, still moving. Uh, EME, still moving. Fixed. It's got a level of resistance it needs to get back above. CLS, mm, moving. STRL, as much as I love this stock, the answer is not now. But look at M M look at that, MMYT. How many of you know of this stock, type of one? If you do not know of this stock, type of two. SMCI, I like overall, but I don't like it right now. All right, Lloyd, I like it overall because of the space, but I don't like it right now. So there are more people that do know of this stock. That's fine. 
So maybe I didn't bring anything new to the table on this, but if I did for some of you, that's an excellent look at these. Excuse me, it's excellent enough that I'm gonna put in I'm gonna put in a alert on this. I like this. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. How about that? Just wait, bro. Um let's go a little bit higher than the high. Here we go, create. That's another alert I'm creating. Uh I do like EME. Wow, look at that. Man, so many high momentum stocks are in here. ACMR, not as much. Sitting in the channel, is that on my list? I'm looking at see if any of these stocks are on the list that you wanted to look at as well. As well. Sideways right now, even though high momentum, MLR. I'm putting an alert on this. Put an alert on this. Create an alert. Let's go a little higher than the high. Here we go. Create. Uh, what else is in here? TDW. That's a big one that people are looking at. Right now, I need it to take out that three-month high. It's moving up. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Wow. Caterpillar. Good play. Look at high momentum stocks, folks. So for those people a little bit more aggressive, I am pointing you through some of the stocks um, to keep on your mind. Rig, it is moving. Let's go look at Rig. R-I-G. You guys are getting sneaky because I know how many stocks I was going to put up for you, but uh, yeah, let it get above that first. That's a six-month graph. Um, Akshaya, let it, let it show me something. I, I, a nice update today. I see that. Let me zoom in. Nice update today. I do see that, but let it get past that level of resistance before I jump on board. The three to eight and the 20 are all in play. Watch the dip on MACD, but it's still positive. I'd like to see um, it get above that level of resistance. This was your recommendation. That's fine. Whatever the reason I had the recommendation, I will still st uh, stick by it. But right now, if I'm looking at it right now, I'd like to see it jump above. Whatever my reasons were, was probably because of a graph layout or news or something. But if I'm looking at it right now, I'd like to see it get above that three month. All right, that's what I'm looking for. EME, safe and sound stock search. If I, I don't mind looking at safe and sound stocks at all in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, ACGL, man, a lot of these high stocks, small oil stock recommendations. Shire, sorry, it was Ryan. Uh, okay. But again, no matter who of us, we had a reason why we looked at the stock, right? There was a reason why we looked, wow, progressive. And some good high play, high momentum plays, but not all of them. Now, as much as I like new, it's pulled back. I'd wait. If I'm not in it now, I wait. Right. Now, if I am in it, I'd leave it alone. The three is above the eight, which is above the 20. But I don't like the MACD. All right. Um, Mandel, Facebook, FBL, ALSM. Man, a lot of good stocks in here. So let's look at this another for another perspective. Why not look at the top industries? Steel. Steel, petroleum, machinery mining and building heavy construction that's where caterpillar is right i think that's where caterpillar is looking i'm looking i'm looking i don't know maybe not i thought caterpillar would have been there but sterling is in there powers in there tpt tpc let's go look at steel alloy the number one industry usap is a good play is that on my list usap is a good play i like it I like that play. I cannot lie. Look at that equity curve. Put this on a six month graph. Look at that. Look at the MACD is rocking. But steel is a big is, is one of the top five industries. But look at USAP. Wow. Look at CRS, which we've already looked at. It is parabolic, but it's in an industry that's moving. Uh, ATI. I'd like to see it break above that level of resistance. Um, MTUS. I don't know what that is, but I don't know if I'm really warm and fuzzy about this. It's got a lot of red candles in it. Uh, GSM coming off a level of support down here, went through a level of resistance, went through another level of resistance. The stock 
It looks like it's got some upward mobility. The 3D 8 and 20 are all in play. Would I buy it today? No, it's a down day, but I would definitely keep this on a watch list. I would definitely keep this on the watch list. Uh, was that the last one? Yep. So in the top industries, machine. how about petroleum machine equipment? NGS. Look at that. Wow. Look at that play. Goodness gracious. We're finding some stocks that are moving, folks. And this is all from the mobile app. I haven't done anything in the desktop version. I haven't done a thing in the desktop version. This is the power of the mobile app in your pocket. The power of the program in your pocket to find, wow, look, there's a rock again. We got an order in for that. Uh, what would the hood do? WHD. Oh, it's not the same thing. I missed my entry on NG on NGS. That's all right. But I would just keep in mind what's going on in the market. You know, market timing is always first and foremost before you do anything. Um, but opportunities are still there if the market is still running, right? The indicators that are popping up on stocks, have you put them in manually or already set? The indicators, that are pop uh, these, I'm just looking at graphs on these, Ed. I'm just looking at ad, uh, graphs. Stephanie says WHD is petroleum. I know that. I thought I knew that. I just, you know, what would the hood do? That's WHD. Now to buy these, would you consider it FOMO? Hmm. How many of you still consider this rally to be FOMO? Type of one. How many of you still consider this rally to be a FOMO type of one? MOH on your, uh, yes. It's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We get to, we get to go look at MOH. Because it's eight. And then the last stock I got on my list right now that makes 10 is XLF. All the other stocks you gave me, I don't have enough likes for it. So right now, XLF is the last stock I have. Rally of the uninformed. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Not anymore after this week's action. I think, <clears throat> I think that the rally from FOMO came from AI, chips. Notice that those are not the top industries right now. So I don't know that this is still a FOMO move. I think that money is being moved into different industries, as we saw mining, steel, marijuana stocks, actually, um, energy, oil. That's where the money's moving into. So I don't think that it's FOMO. The FOMO came from the stocks. The SMCIs, the NVIDIAs, the AMDs, the TMS, TMS, uh, TSMs. That was the FOMO rally. I don't think that we're still in a FOMO rally right now. All right, that's my two cents. Uh, Kiwi Meow says Federal Reserve, Fed Governor Bowman says additional rate. Ooh, -wee. you see that right there? I want, I want to ask, I want to ask you a question. Yes, I know what I said. I want to ask you a question. Who else, who else said this same thing not too long ago? Type it in the room. Because this is the reason why I say these things over and over and nobody listens. Who else said the same exact thing not long ago? I Type it in. No, 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 no. Type it in that. No, don't even start, Roger. I've been letting, and, and this is why I say nobody's been listening. Nobody's been, it wasn't Jerry. No one is, and, and Akshaya, I know that. But even in an election year, this is not the Fed, the first Fed person that has said it. Interesting. It wasn't Charlie Chapman. Some guy named Glenn. Thank you, Tom. I, when, I, when more than one person is saying, so oh, not only that, Three rate cuts. That's what was said last year. Okay. Um, higher for longer. That's what the Fed said. Then they said, all right, you know, we don't want to rush the Fed cut. We don't want to rush the cuts. So we're looking at third quarter. This week, Bostic said, well, we're looking at fourth quarter. Somebody else, this is the second person that says, we might actually get a rate hike this year. 
I honestly, I'm with you, Bill, in that the state of the middle class, you, I, uh, as much as I say that it could happen, I doubt it because you're just break, you will, you will break the back of middle America if you raise it again. All right. Uh, you are Parikh says inflation is not easily to back as money printed already and pour into the market. I think that if inflation steadies, if inflation raises just a little bit, you take the potential cuts off the table. They need to make a cut to get housing market moving. Housing market is not moving because mortgage rates are too high. But you say to get the housing market moving, what about the rest of the economy, Jazz? And Linda is right. They also need the cut to help small businesses. So the unfortunate reality is that based upon what we're looking at, the Fed is walking a super duper tight rope in me. All right. He's walking a super duper tight rope in regards to what's going on. I wouldn't want to have to sit in his chair. And there you go. Sidra, I'm with you. The economy don't need a rate cut right now. But then I sound like I am not sympathetic to what's going on with the people who are getting hurt by high interest rates, right? Man, I, I, I don't know if Jerome Powell is having a hard time sleeping at nights. But if I was in his seat, I would have a hard time sleeping at night. This is, you're right, the, the economy doesn't need a rate cut. But the people who are being affected by it, you know, working extra part-time jobs, working and living paycheck to paycheck, it's not how it should be. Wondering if they will toss us into a recession, not cutting at least once this year. A lot of people are thinking that as well. I have clients who have credit card debt at 27%. I told you that was one of my market bubbles. I did a video on it. None of you watched it, but um, I, did a, I did a video on, on credit cards as a bubble. I got five bubbles, five or six bubbles. When home rates cut, seller raised the price. So are people going to sell before the end of the day as they have for the past couple of days? I don't know. The market, uh, root, oh, we can go get root. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go get us some root. It hit, let's go to alerts. Oh, where is it? Root just hit, I'm gonna go get it. What the flying flip? Right. Oh, recent alerts, root hit. All right. No, why didn't this show, Marcus Ray? Why didn't it show Root? All right, fine. Sigh. Let's go find Root. I, I did that. Let's go. Hmm. Root. I'm going to go buy it. Hit the alert. Root. I put the alert. Add to portfolio. I gotta go find it. What is it? Mobile app picks. Buy. Spend a grand. How much money I got? Buying power. Okay, spend a grand. Add to portfolio. Oh. So root hit the alert. Root hit the alert. I got it. Joey, please. Glenn needs the handler's help. Joey's not here, Lou. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not your friend right now, Lou. You talked about me being a DJ yesterday. I'm so not your friend anymore. All right, countries around the world are looking to lighten on rates. Fed needs to look at what others are doing. No, those are different economies. I know we're part of the global economy, but that's, that's it. No, I, I, I'm not, no. The, the, so because China cut rates, because their economy sucked, I'm going to say that we need to cut rates because we're no, every economy is those economies are their economies and they do what they need to Tabula, I'm not look what they do is what they do. All right. What they do. RV is below one. Remember I was looking at possibility to put it into your portfolio 
um, because it's moving. I know I'm looking at an end of day graph, but it's moving. I didn't say I was holding it long term. All right. How about Taiwan just raise rates? So we're going to go with do what Taiwan says? No. Every economy is different. I don't think that, Tabula, I don't think that we need to do what any of them does. And G. Dave is right. We lead. They follow. They follow. I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm, I'm not, we don't need to lighten the rates. I, we, we don't need to lighten rates. Most other companies watch what our Fed does. But you know something? If their economies need a cut or a raise or whatever, let them do what they do. Aren't you concerned root will consolidate dropping 20% as every stock goes up quicker than it goes down? Blaine, I put this stock into the portfolio, which we're going to look at in a second. I put this stop in the, in the portfolios, but it has stops. Uh, yeah, where is it? Builders Big Banks. Uh, what is it called? Mobile? Let's go find it. Let's go look at that portfolio. I hate that I got this set up the way that I do, but it is HI Mobile. Oh, let's watch this because I'm an idiot about mobile app picks. So I just got into, look at this. Your old's portfolio is up 2.07%. .7, it does have stops. We just picked up root. We're already up 1.5% on the stock. We just got it. We're up one and a half percent. I'm Alfred, I'm not I'm not, you know, in a tizzy or anything. Glenn, all right, so I'm fine, Alfredo. I am. Glenn, CDXC, you bought this morning. Do we keep it or sell? Only reason why I want to look at it is because oh, I had stop set up on that. Akshaya, did it break through the did it break through my levels of support? If it did, then the answer is no. I set that up for you. I already I, I already know that I did that. So no, if it broke through my levels of support, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. I had a level of support. Everybody in the jockey club, you, I did show how to manage CDXC, yes or no. For everybody who's in the jockey club, I just want to make sure that I did the right thing. I, I broke out the levels of support, my line in the sand, on both the one-minute and five-minute bars. On one-minute and five-minute bars. So I don't, I don't remember. Root is valued at twelve fifty nine, but selling for eighty seventy three. Just wondering, it's way overvalued. I ain't gonna lie. Alfredo said yes, I did. It was it's way overvalued, but a lot of stocks, a lot of stocks in the market are overvalued. Dave, if you don't feel comfortable buying into an overvalued stock in the current market, then you don't. Then you don't. We keep in mind though, um, these stocks that I'm looking at to put into your portfolios, I look at them on the on a three or six month uh, month um, time frame, and I make my choices off of that. All right, and you know why? Because a graph is worth a thousand words. A picture is worth a thousand words. All right, so I know that they may not be the best stocks, but I'm concerned about putting stocks into that portfolio for this session that are making money. And then I put stops on all FTAI got it from hot stocks, no contra portfolio on 401 2024, up over nine and a quarter percent so far. All right. Nasty wick on CDC, uh, CDXC. Something tells me that it broke through my level of support. Something, Alfreda did it. I'm sure if, if it looks like that, that it broke through my level of support. All right. How many? We got 100 likes. Um, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll give you eleven. So my last stock I put in here is C E L H. All right. Let's go make a support for oh no 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 let's go to my watch lists. Let's go create us a new watch list. Boom. All right. So I've already got the stocks I'm gonna put in. X O M S P Y F T A I. Yikes. Yikes. Generac. Which Generac? Generac. How come I don't know the ticker symbol? There is GNRC. Uh, ENPH. Those are um, uh, stocks that could be used because of the earthquake, ALSMY, 
I like that pick. L A A L S M Y R T X Raytheon M O H S W V L. I'm so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. S W V L X L F. That's right, T laugh. X L F and C E L H. C E L H. That's 11 stocks, even though we only got 100 likes. All right. Let's go C E L H. Let's create a list. Let's put the date. Four, five, four, five, 24. Customer picks. All right, these are your stocks. These are your stocks. These are your stocks. I gave you 11 picks off of 100 likes. I still like you. All right, let's go check them out. Six month graph. You want to put this into your portfolio? Yes or no? You need to put in the symbol and type in yes or no. You need to type in the symbol and type in yes or no. But I can't give you a ton of time. So. I know we probably are on, um, we are probably going, eh, eh. I know we're on a delay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's go add to a portfolio. Put this on mobile app picks. Buy, spend a grand. Add to portfolio. All right. Nope. Next stock, CELH. You want to buy it? The stock got hit. It's, re, it's rebounding. But the MACD is negative. Put in the ticker symbol. Put in the, Wow, now I got the FTAIs. Um, not yet. Just, I got more yeses than no's. All right, Celsius, no. I, get, oh, I got more no's. FTAI bought that one on your recommendation, says Linda. There you go. Uh, Maria's up 25% on FTI, but more people are telling me no on Celsius. Okay. Swivel. Swivel, 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 swivel. All right. Um, put in the ticker symbol in yes or no. Put in the ticker symbol in yes or no. Um, I like that. I just made that up. Swivel, 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 swivel. See the big wicks these last couple of days? A lot of selling pressure. Swivel, no, swivel, no, swivel, no, swivel, yes. Of course, T, you just want to go against me anyway. Swivel, no. I got more no's than I got yeses. I got more no's than I got yeses. Why did you say yes, T? For what reason? It's got some, it's got some splaining to do. Swivel's got some splaining to do. All right, so the answer was no on Swivel. All right, next. Ugh. Ugh. MOH, yes or no? Why do we even have to answer this one? MOH, yes or no? Because you're currently in there. Of course, T. Of course you are. I know that you were in it. That's why you said it. I knew it. I don't even know why I even got to ask about MOH. The answer should be no. The answer should be no. All right, let's go to the next one. ALSMY, Alstom. Man, I do like the play. But watch the 388. Watch the pullback on MACD. What's your answer? It is coming to a level of support, though. Look at that. It's rebounding today off a level of support. The 3D8 and the 20 are all still in place. Uh, M M Y T. Um, hold on. Let me come back to that. M M Y T. We put in, we, it crossed, right? View the stock detail. M M Y T. Can I add that? I can add to a portfolio. That's another alert we put out. M M Y T. Mobile app picks. One grand. Add to portfolio. Nope. All right. Where were we? Um, uh, we were in, oh, I got to go. Dang it. ACMR. Oh, that's not, that's not, that was a super watchdog. Now I got to find the portfolio again. I keep saying that I got to find this. Uh, no, I got to find the watch list. It's got to be an easier way. It's got to be an easier way for me to go back and find a watch list. Oh, I got to find a date. What was the date? Four, five. All right, four, 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 five customer picks. So what did we say? Ace, um, what stock were we at? 
Oh, what did we say? A no, not yet on Alstom. Okay, not yet on Alstom. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, XOM. Ooh, yes or no? That stock is up there. Uh, XOM. XOM. Yeah, everybody's going to say yeah. Does nobody care that it's way up there? It's in an industry that's moving, though, right? All right, we'll go get it. Add to portfolio. Mobile app picks. One grand. Add it to the portfolio. No. All right, next stock on the list, spiders. Yes or no? I'm going to say no on this. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to say no on this. I like the move up, but it's leveling out. I'm going to say no on SPY. What do you say? What do you say on SPY? I say no. Linda says no as well. Anybody else? Janice says no. Everybody is saying no. I, I think this is a sign that the market's ready to pull back a little bit too. Spiders are the three. Yeah, I, I would wait. I know it's got an up day today. The market's moving up today, but I would wait. Spy as a whole, I, I would wait. All right. Is that the last one? I don't know. Nope. XLF. Financials. Hmm. Yay or nay. Again, right at the level of resistance. Big down day today, uh, yesterday. It is still above the 20. MACD is still negative. What say you on XLF? Would say I love the move over the last six months, but we're talking about buying it now. Okay, I want to see what T's got to say. Go ahead, T. I'm looking for T's answer because okay, wow, T said no. Holy smokes, <laughs> T said no. Oh, I can't believe that. I stay away from financial sis Pennywise. I got you. XLF not yet. All right, next one. Wow, G Generac. All right, man, this stock is in a channel, been in a channel. I do like that it. it's out of the last level of resistance. It's gone through one, two, three, four, five, six levels of resistance. It's now back, it's through it. What do you think about Generac, yes or no? I don't like the bounce, however, says T. Mm. Not yet, yes, not yet, yes. Ooh, this is coming down. I might have to get cool involved. Um maybe yes just gotta buy uh yes i need to see at least one more yes let's go see if i get one more yes one more yes there it is all right let's go at it add it to the portfolio uh mobile app one grand add it to the portfolio do i want to go there yet no not yet Wow, RTX, Raytheon, hot industry, defense. I like that play. I like that play, yes or no. RTX, yay or nay. RTX, yay or nay. I like the people who follow directions that put the ticker symbol in yes or no. There you go. All right, we're going to go add that to the portfolio. Add to the portfolio. Mobile app picks, one grand. Add to the portfolio. All right. Nope. Holy smokes. Generac looks better than ENPH. RTX, no. Don't like the news on engines. Again, fits. I got stopped someplace. Um, I did not notice I'm not looking at news on any of these. Now you got me. Now you got me interested. Stock news. Notice I could do that right from the app as well because I didn't know. Uh, it's up 1.78%. Let's go see what news. What news is uh, that came out? Pennywise says RTX addressed the engine in, in the rich. The in, uh, don't no, no, no. And and I I know that's Joey. That's heck to the no, no, no. Ah! no hold on, hold on. I'm taking that that damn thing down. Damn Joey. Joey's in. I can't. I can't. Stop looking at the pinned comment about the stupid JPI because it doesn't exist. Um, why poised to beat earnings? That was three days ago. Um, 
Look at that. Clinch is a $1.2 billion contract for Patriot Missile. Dis that was nine days ago. I don't know what the engine stuff is. How about secures a 200, three days ago was, uh, that's uh, modernizing the Tomahawk. That's two, that's $287 million contract and a $1.2 billion contract. Uh, why is Poland paying three point, uh, pay buy, oh, buying three point. That's another contract. Yeah, I, I don't see anything about the news about the, but they're getting orders. They're, they're, they're getting orders. Ooh, wee. I'm putting that in there. Click done. Notice how I looked at the news right from the app. Look at that. Now, J Joey's just trying to get me angry. That's Joey in the background. All right, I'm going to take this. I'm going to say yes. Jeff is saying to JP, y'all need to stop with this JPI crap. Add, add the portfolio. Man, um, you know something? I'm going to stop letting it bother me. I'm not going to say anything more about it. You, wanna, you want the JPI? I go get the JPI. That's all I got to say. You want the JPI? Go get it. Go get it. Show me where it is. Okay. Wow. Uh, we looked at ENPH. That was the last one. That was the last one. I, no, I'm not. I am never saying anything negative about the JPI anymore. You want the JPI, go get it. Okay. I am now at peace with the Joey and the JPI. Woosa. Woosa. All right. Now let's go to the portfolio. Let's go to the portfolio mobile app picks. We're up 2%. We're up about a percent today. Uh, what did we pick up? We picked. Uh, root, which is up about a percent. MMYT, we're up about three tenths percent. RTX, we're up a little bit. FTI, we're slightly down. So we picked a Generac. We're oh, we were already in Generac. All right. Well, the biggest loser we got is SLMO. Oh, I got stops in place. I don't remember what my stops are. Edit the portfolio, and there needs to be a way for me to see that as well. All right. Uh, what is the entry price on RTX? The price that we got in on RTX looks like net gain, average price, day gain. Uh, hmm. Purchase date. Probably like a buck fifty or so. Why doesn't it show me that as well? As I got into the portfolio, it doesn't show me what price I got in at. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Oops. I don't know if I like that. Long. Uh oh. Where was it? On uh, RTX. One oh one oh eight. Was that my price? I don't know. Maybe. It says average price. I don't know what the, I don't I don't know why it doesn't tell me that. I don't know. Uh what G Day says 10108. Is that my that average price, my buy price? Because I'm not hundred percent sure. It should be. Yes, that's that is the price. There we go. So we got it at 10108. We got let me go see. This is 34%. Yeah, we got in at 7314. There we go. All right. So there it is. I just wanted to make sure. All right, I'm done. I'm done talking to you folks today. I love talking to you folks, but I'm done. My eye hurts. See what Joey did? I got, I got eye strain now. I got problem with my eyes. Uh, but no, I'm at peace with the JPI. You want it? You've got it. Okay. I got to go. I'm only nine minutes over. Um, Vector Vest Joey, when you do your share, your winner portfolio with the talking heads, is that next week? Yes, he's probably going to share his his portfolio um, with Talking Heads because he's just that good. He's great. Um, Joey is a one of a kind master picker of stocks. He's amazing. He is. With that being said, I'm signing off today. Thank you, T. I'm signing off today. Um, what's the JPI? See, Tommy's going to be asking questions like this. Hey, it's not a real thing, Tommy, but a lot of people, a lot of people love what it is. It's called the Joey perfect indicator. It is not real. 
But if Joey likes it and, and subscribers like it, then it's fine. Okay. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Play Joey's JPI. I've always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So, adios, arrivederci, ciao, au revoir today. Bon dia, odabo. Salam, shalom, go away. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Would you be my neighbor? See ya.